Well, greetings viewers and voyeurs with Got That Funk. How you doing? Um, thanks for watching this video. I was watching videos a little while ago and I came across a video by my friend the Peach called Thug Cops, which I think she posted a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's only by chance that I come across it actually. I don't know why it didn't show up in my subscription feed, but anyway. Um, as always, her video was well researched, well presented, and uh, well thought through, and I'm really glad that she made it. And I have no issues with anything she said whatsoever, but uh, there was a comment in the comment section which really raised my hackles, and I think it's pretty much emblematic of one of the problems we have with police brutality, but this is emblematic of not the police's attitudes about it, more about what's going on in the public, because I think this attitude is widely shared by a lot of people. Not by me, though. Uh, and I'm going to tell you why in a second, but let me read it to you first. And I'm very interested to hear what your opinions are about this comment, as well as my response to it. Okay? Quote, I think what many people need to understand is arguing with a cop and resisting arrest is not a good idea. Not justifying every cop action that takes place when arrest is resisted, but the majority of videos I see where people are claiming police brutality generally show the victim making a gigantic spectacle of themselves and resisting arrest as if there were to ever be an alternative turnout as opposed to just being tackled and sat on and handcuffed. If you truly believe you can be shot for anything and the cops will get away with it, a good idea would be complying fully and then trying to seek punishment in an administrative fashion later. I am a white male, and I wouldn't even think of resisting arrest or giving a cop any reason at all to have to apply force. So if I was a black male, and I truly believed in systemic racism or profiling or whatever, I would be extra careful. All right, that's the end of that part that I'm going to read. Um, my problem with this attitude is it presumes, or implies very strongly anyway, that the police are our masters, that we are their subjects. We're not citizens, we're subjects. We are subject to their will. Wrong. I'm sorry, that's not right. Okay? Now I want to talk a little bit about resisting arrest. Because I know people personally in America who have been arrested for resisting arrest when they've not been charged with any other crime. And I think that that is wrong. I think this is happening more and more as time has gone on. I don't know if the law has changed or not, but when I was a kid, I remember specifically remember learning in school that police are not allowed to arrest you unless they charge you with a crime and tell you what you're being charged for prior to trying to arrest you. So if you're not being, if the, if the police aren't attempting to arrest you for a separate charge that they're going to bring on you, you have no arrest to resist. So to be charged with resisting arrest when you're not being charged with any other crime, to me, uh, is ass backwards and flat out wrong. In fact, I think I would go so far as to say it should be illegal for police to arrest you for resisting arrest if they're not going to charge you with another crime that you committed prior to resisting that arrest. What do you think? 